Melissa here and welcome back to Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Um, we've got a lot to show you. Um, Paul, myself, Will, and Samuel today, um, we've been running around. We went to um, Goodwill, then we went to the Dollar Tree, and then we went to a thrift store, and we had to stop there because Will would seem like he was getting, um, was stopped wanting to listen. Um, so just a, a brief update, uh, Will had another seizure last night about eight o'clock. So, um, you know, he might have started to get tired and that's why he wasn't really listening very well. So, okay. Um, so we're going to start with, I've got this big bag from Goodwill. Uh, this was in Centerville, one that we've never been to before. I got this really big, I'm going to have to stand up to show you. Uh, really, really big. Uh, furry. I don't know if it's uh, like a blanket. Well, the, it's like a mat. Um, or if it's just like a rug. But it doesn't have, I don't think, anti-skid. Let me put it down and see. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it wants to move around a lot. Um, this was $10. And I did not think that was bad at all. It looks brand new. It's very soft. Um, I figure we'll probably use it for um, the animals, for the dogs, for them to um, lay on or whatnot. Like I said, I haven't quite figured out what exactly I'm going to do with it. Let me put it down there. Okay, and Paul found this nice um, soup coat. It is GS Perfect Fit brand, I guess. I don't know. Um, but it's really, really nice. And uh, really nice. He needed one, and uh, he found one that fits him nicely. So, looks very nice. Very nice. Uh, that was only um, $5.99. Can you believe that? We spent um, a, a this particular Goodwill I'm showing you right now, we spent um, $82 there, okay? So, um, here's another bag. We found some stuff for Samuel, which is really hard because Samuel's really kind of picky. So, but... He found some sports pants that he likes. He got these. Um, these are Reebok. These were only $4.99. The dogs are smelling the rug. I folded it up and they're already smelling it. Um, I don't know what brand this is. This is another pair of athletic pants for Samuel. All of these pants were um, $4.99. And I found this shirt uh, for Paul. So it's a nice, like, tan color. Um, I think this was... This is Canyon Ridge. Um, I think this was $5, too. See, unfortunately, at this particular store, they don't have a price tag. They have colored tags. That's, you, that's how they determine the price. 
Okay. Another bag from the Goodwill. I found some really, really nice kitchen towels. They were only 99 cents. Super nice, thick. We always need these, and I figure, well, you know, I could pick some up at the Dollar Tree. But I don't like the feel of those. They're like polyester. They had a bunch of really nice dish towels, and when I saw that they were only 99 cents, I went through and grabbed all the nice ones. So I don't care what color they are. These are um, chartreuse um, polka dots. This one is um, Christmas themed. It's got a snowman with these um, pine cones. Don't care. Super, super nice. 99 cents. Another one of this with the polka dots. This is so thick. Very, very thick and heavy. Very, very nice. Um, I saw that they had some medical socks uh, for diabetics. So I showed Paul. So he got... Uh, these were $1.99 each. Uh, he got three gray. And he got three beige. <clears throat> I saw this super cute, very fancy looking um, silver color. Look at the handle. I thought it, it's very heavy. I thought it was absolutely very feminine and um, pretty. <clears throat> I don't, I'm sure it's not silver. It doesn't have any marks on it, but I don't care. It's, it's not tarnished or anything. It's very, very pretty. So I got that to put um, somewhere. You put candy or whatever you want in it. These animals are really like in the, um, that carpet. I folded it up and set it over here on the treadmill. And they all keep coming over. I, fa I found this adorable ceramic dog dish. It has a bunch of different dog breeds. Like there's a Pomeranian, just like Finny, only um, Finny is white. Let's see. There's a Bulldog. There's Labs. There's a little Chihuahua. Very, very cute. Bow Wow Meows is the brand. Very, very heavy for only 99 cents. Another bag from the Goodwill store. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to have Will try these. These are super, super soft, um, apartment nine, <clears throat> excuse me, sleep pant, apartment nine. I don't know, um, from what store that is, but the inside says seriously soft and they are, but I know these are men's because they've got the button or they've got the, the fly part. So I hope these they're very, very stretchy, so um, I'm going to give these to Will because he always needs sleep pants. Um, Amazon Essentials. I bought this for myself. It was in the men's section. It's a 2X. Um, this looked like a nice shirt with a, um, you know, that kind of a neck, V-neck. So I went ahead and got that for myself. I don't care. You know, like I said, this is a men's shirt. Um, with this COVID thing, I don't care. All right, and then this jockey shirt, just black. Um, got this for Samuel.
Okay. Found these kind of sweatpants. These are for Samuel. Found these sports pants. These are for Samuel. Hi, buddy Will. Hi. How are you, honey? Yes, I'm coping. It's good. Okay. All right. That was everything. Um, I didn't show you Will's stuff. It's in the kitchen. I have to um, spray all that down. But Will um, got some movies and books from the Goodwill. It's called Half Price Books. Well, that, yeah. Next week. Yeah, for next week. Happy Smallest Friday for January 15th, 2021. Payday and Paycheck Store. Next week, okay. I got to okay, finish. only three days for a fun weekend. I have to finish my video, sweetheart, okay? Okay. All right. Now, we went to the St. Vincent's de Paul thrift store, and uh, we spent 80-some dollars at that one. But Will's bag, like I said, let's see, $34 of the 80-some dollars that we spent is in the kitchen. My husband bought him an old time for $10, a VCR, because Will picked out at the Goodwill store, he picked out a bunch of Disney VHS movies. He wanted them, so we told him he didn't have the VHS player, but he wanted it, so... And then my husband found a VHS player here. So hopefully it works. But he did find at, Will found at this St. Vincent, he picked out 12 um, young people's movies, um, like Disney and other stuff like that. They were $2 a piece, so that ended up being $24. So that's $34 in the kitchen of the 80 some we spent here. So again... We found clothes. Um, this is just um, an athletic shirt. I picked this up for myself. Uh, it's a 3X Athletic Works. I have some of these pants from Walmart. Um, now some of the, three of the shirts, or three of the items that we bought in here that were $4.99. Technically, uh, two of them were marked down to $1.25 because whatever color day it was. And, like, this has blue. I don't know. I never can tell. So, three of the items uh, were cheaper. One was $2.49 and the others were $1.29 or something like that. So, I don't know which ones it, w it was, but I got this. Um, it's got static in it, though, right now. Just this... Um, thin athletic shirt and I don't think you can see it but it's a wicking it's one of those wicking shirts it's got I don't know if you can see it all those little holes to help with sweat got that for myself $4.95 unless it happens to be one of the ones that were on sale um, got this shirt I think this one was yeah, this one's for me too, just to wear around the house. $4.95. Um, $2.49. Samuel got this one for himself. $4.99 for this Chicago. Um, really nice shirt. It's it's a Nike shirt. Holy crap. Still has the tag on it. Uh, it was $20 with the tag that's still on it. Uh, $4.99. So that's for Samuel. Um, Goody Fellow. $4.99. It's another shirt for Samuel. Um, you're going to see a lot of like grays or dark blues. Samuel is weird about colors. Like he won't wear like a, a red shirt, you know. He, he's, he's very picky on what color. In fact, 
this was a super nice one I told him he needed to get. It's an army green and he kept, he didn't want to get it. But this is an Eddie Bauer shirt. And the sh shirts have to be super soft for Samuel or he won't wear it. Um, this was $4.99, so I talked him into getting this one. $4.99 for these uh, sports pants for Samuel. $4.99 for these champion sports pants for Samuel. I picked this one up out of the men's department. I don't care for myself. <clears throat> it's a 3X. And I don't even know what this is for. CHCA swimming. I don't know. It says faith. It does not make things easy. It makes things possible. Very pretty kind of feath uh, heathery purple. Um, I got that for myself. $4.99. I found these. They look brand spanking new. 3X... Um, Jerseys, uh, sweatpants for Will. Where is it? it says something about wrestling on it. He doesn't care. Super nice sweatpants for $4.99. Okay. This was Will's bag. I have to go through and spray all this stuff down. This was Will's purchase from Goodwill. Emperor's New Groove. Toy Story. The Rescuers Down Under. These were only 99 cents each. All Dogs Go to Heaven. Tarzan. And he has uh, DVDs of all these movies, but he likes to have both of them, so I, I just let him. It's 99 cents. Who cares? Fun and Fancy Free. 101 Dalmatians. Um, Frosty the Snowman. might be the same exact thing but a different cover. Frosty the Snowman. These are both Frosty the Snowman but with different covers. I don't know. Oh, and he loves this show. Roly Poly Oly. Uh, Happy Hearts Day. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten dollars. Lord. Okay. This is from the St. Vincent's. Like I said, this is $34 in this bag right here. Um, a whole bunch of videos. These are $2 a piece. You got the Backyardigans, Scooby Doo, Easter with Max and Ruby. Bob the Builder, Tom and Jerry, Trains, he loves train movies, another Bob the Builder, Scooby-Doo, Bob the Builder, Bob the Builder, Thomas and Friends, Lilo and Stitch, so these were $24, and then got him this sharp um, DVD player, this was $10, so 
so it has all the cables and everything in the back. So I hope that um, I hope that works for Will. All right, now. All right, sorry, here's a, here was a bag that was buried. This is another bag from the Goodwill store. I got six pairs of Fruit of the Loom socks. Um, it doesn't say men or women's, but I got these for Will. Those are for Will. A dark um, dish rag. Another dark dish rag. Those are 99 cents again, like I said. Let me cut the tag on this so I can show you. Um, they have this brand. Called Happy Feet. I need a different pair of scissors. I'm sorry I'm taking a while to cut this. But I don't want to mess my socks up. You have to be very careful when you... Uh -uh. Okay, Two Left Feet is the name of these socks. And they were $4.99, but I'm always looking for llamas. So at the top it has a sloth dressed up like an astronaut. And then there's people. And then at the bottom there is a llama. Front and back, both socks. So, like I said, those were, uh, and they're super soft, super smooth. Those were a little more expensive, but I didn't care. I wanted llama socks. So I got those. And the last pair of sports pants that Samuel got from the Goodwill store. Okay, let me take a drink real quick. Okay, what we have left is um, the Dollar Tree. So we spent 80, like $82 at the Goodwill, and then we spent 80 some dollars at the thrift store, and then we spent $40 at the Dollar Tree. And this was a Dollar Tree that we'd never been to before. This is store number 6405. 745 Lions Road, Dayton, Ohio. The Goodwill was in Centerville, so pretty close, not too far apart. But I did find some, um, I was excited to find some different stuff at this particular Dollar Tree. Now I have bought these bowls before in a turquoise color. Um, I love these. These say cat bowls and they've got an anti-skid bottom. I got a pink one and a purple one. So now we have four. I needed some more um, puzzle books and my husband was pushing me to get them because I, I used them all up a couple months ago. So I got volume 205 and this is what they look like. So it's all on the one page. They're the uh, large print. So I got book 205, 206. Um, and this says big print, search a word. So that's what this one looks like. Volume um, 33, volume 32. And I saw this uh, llama coloring book. This is a Greenbrier International, but I'm 
Now, it is front and back. So, because of bleed through, you probably need decide to decide if you want to color this one or this one. I don't know that you could do both of them. But anyhow, regardless, super cute llamas to color. <clears throat> so I've got that. I'm telling you, these animals love this rug. Ivy's on it. Bella's on it. Peanut's on it. I knew I was going to get it for them. I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it. But they love it already. Okay. Um, I saw these feathers in the crafting section. I wanted to get some of these um, because I have some crafts for Will that come from the Dollar Tree and I wanted some embellishments to put on it. Like he's got a snowman, um, but a snowman doesn't have to be just for Christmas, even though we do have the Christmas tree he didn't do yet. So we can, he can do that now. I don't care if he wants to. So he can embellish with feathers. And I also got some pom-poms, different colored pom-poms. So I just wanted that for the crafting thing so he can make some cute little things. We needed some new spatulas, and look at the size of that spatula compared to my hand. See that? That's pretty big. So, um, we got that. Paul picked that one out, and I like this one. This is a metal one. I like the size of this one. Pancake flipper. I saw more of the llama socks so i bought another one this makes four pairs i have now of the llamas and i did see these are the merled socks that i've bought that i really like um there was a pink one a purple one and a turquoise like colored one but they also had this this is a deeper purple I hope I got the right one because I, I thought I had the lighter purple ones at home. I'm not sure. And I also found some which I didn't I didn't um, do that haul on video the other day because it wasn't that much money. Find some of these in gray, which I'm wearing a pair right now. We needed some new um, kitchen mitts. So they had this tan one. I kind of went with this considering the colors of the uh, dish towels that I got. Well, I'm done showing those, so if you want to put them back on the counter, you can, and then when I'm done, I'll clean them for you, okay? Okay. And I got two of this Love is a Four-Legged Word with the paw prints. It's navy on the back and that on the front. are liking that rug, aren't you? Okay. Now, I have never seen this. This is Cashmere Vanilla Personal Care Foaming Hand Sanitizer 8 Fluid Ounces Kills 99.9% .9 of Germs Contains Essential Oils Alcohol and Dye Free um, this product is not tested on animals. It's manufactured by Delta Brands. It's made in Turkey. So, I don't know. I can't smell this right now until we start to use it. Cashmere Vanilla. And the other one that they had, the same brand, is Sparkling Cranberry. So, those are going to be positioned around the house. I got one more tube of the regular white Dermasil lotion. I told you guys this is some really, really good lotion. So now this gives me two tubes of the, the plain white one. I They also had an aloe one that I didn't get before, and they had the aloe at this store, so I just bought one of the aloe. This is really good hand cream. Really, really, really thick. I totally ran out of my face wipes that I keep in the car, so I found this one 
orange blossom and lavender there's 32 count and then I also picked up this one bolero cucumber and aloe for the car because yeah I like to totally wipe my face off after we get back in the car from shopping so that's that Paul found this Betty Crocker measuring um, cup. It's a two cup. One side is, two, it goes all the way up to two cups, and the other one is milliliters. It's plastic. I mean, I don't, I hope it doesn't break too soon. I mean, but still, if, even if it does, it's a dollar. Just plastic. All right, this is the last bag from the Dollar Tree. And I think this is all snacks. I got four bags of the Andy Caps Cheddar Fries. Two for Samuel, two for me. Okay, yeah, I was just checking, sorry. I wanted to make sure we're still recording. They had these, Sweet Tarts, Conversation Hearts. They're the Sweet Tart brand, not the nasty uh, Neko-like wafer Conversation Hearts. I got two bags. They had these um, Valentine Nerds, Strawberry and Punch. I really like this, and I like that these are in little boxes. Um little trick-or-treat trick type boxes because that way um, I can keep track how many I'm eating. And I got two Godiva chocolate milk chocolate bars. Um, milk chocolate with caramel. Two of those. And then I saw this um, Turtle Bites, which I bought these before. They're not as good as the, um, I just went brain dead. The one brand that I, I can't think of the one brand I normally buy. This is Demetz, Demetz or something like that. Um, they're good, but they're not as good as the Russell Stover, that's it. I normally get Russell Stover. But you know, when Paul and I, um, it was after, in fact, it was early January. When we went to Walmart um, to go shopping, all of their candy was wiped out. Because I wanted to get me some um, Russell Stover turtles. Couldn't find any. Could not find any. Totally wiped out. I don't know. Okay, now, my husband also bought this humongous plastic bin. It has a lid. Um, latching box, 106 quarts or 100 liter. This is to put our Christmas tree in, or ornaments, I don't know, I think he bought it for the Christmas tree, but I don't know if the Christmas tree will fit in here. Um, it's for something. I mean, it's, it looks like it's at least four feet. I don't know. He bought it for some sort of Christmas storage stuff. So that is everything that, um, we bought. We had fun as a family, but, um, the last stop that we made, it was clear that Will was ready to stop. Um, so, um, we also, this morning, bought Will's, um, we got a prescription for a watch that's going to alert us when he has a seizure. It's $250, and we have a prescription, but unfortunately, we have to pay for it first and then get reimbursed by the insurance company. And then it's going to be like a cell phone where you're going to have um, a monthly service fee. 
So uh, we showed Will all the color options uh, that they had, and he chose a red face with a, a gray strap. Um, so that's the color he wanted. So unfortunately today, well today's Saturday, and unfortunately last night, last Friday night, last night at um, around eight o'clock, let me tell you this story before we get into the seizure. I ordered for this, for him, December 14th. He has been wanting um, Franklin and the Green Knight. That's what he wanted. So I ordered it from Amazon. December 14th. Here it is, January 9th, and we still don't have this movie. We, they have told us on two or three different occasions it was supposed to be delivered. Never came. Then they're like, oh, it's running late. They did that at least twice. It's running late. It's running late. Then they did, oh, it may be lost, but you can't, you have to wait till this date to get a refund. So, and this person will not text us back any information. And I've already sent him like two texts that I want a refund um, and how upset our child got because he's been wanting this movie. And I, we keep telling him, I showed him where it was ordered. We keep telling him what they tell us. So it appears like we're lying to him because they keep changing it daily, what's happening. So I went on eBay and ordered a second of the exact same movie, Franklin and the Green Knight. And it shows, it was only just a couple days ago, so it hasn't been very long. But I thought for sure it was going to be delivered today, but it says Monday. It's in um, Cincinnati. It was at 2 something, 2.12 this morning. It was in Cincinnati. So I feel confident that his movie's going to be here Monday. And it, and it also had his thing on it stating um, that they were super busy and, you know, there could be a delay. All I'm trying to do is get this child this movie that he wants. I say child. He's, you know. So, um, he, this is what happened. Last night, he kept sending me messages on my machine about like in capital letters, yelling that he wanted his Franklin and the Green Knight because we kept telling him that it was coming and they, Amazon keeps screwing it up, didn't deliver it. He got really, really, really upset last night and he was screaming and he stomped his feet and was getting really, really upset. And that's not Will. That is, Will doesn't act that way. So, um... He went back to his room, so I, when he went back to his room, I got on my phone and was looking at eBay, hit the tracking button to, again, see if there was any new information. After I found out, I, we put two cameras in Will's room because of him having the seizures, so I clicked out of eBay and clicked on the app for his cameras in his room, and I saw him in his bed and his arms were stiff in a weird position. And I, I yelled for Paul. I said, seizure! So we took off running to Will's room. And... I filmed... I stopped at 19 minutes. I filmed our child having a seizure for 19 minutes. So that when we get in touch... Um, with his neurologist on Monday, I can say, look, I've got this video. You want us to send it to you? Because um, Will has some tests and hospital stay coming up so they can try to figure this out. And um, I obviously didn't catch him when he first started seizing, but then about four minutes into my video, he started doing a different, that I've never seen him do in a seizure as he was arching his back and bucking. So that was new. And um, I wouldn't wish this on anyone. This is so, so heartbreaking and upsetting.
to see your child go through something like that. And this is his sixth seizure he's had so far since September. And Samuel didn't see this one. I feel really bad for Samuel too, his brother, his younger, Samuel's his younger brother. Samuel has seen Will have some of these seizures because we needed his help trying to turn Will over on his side. And it has scarred. Samuel is like really upset when we even, he can't even hardly talk about it, that he has to see his brother go through these seizures because he's so worried that his brother's going to die. It's horrible. It is horrible. So, if you pray, keep Will in your prayers, okay? He is, they're going to admit him into the hospital, not where all the sick people are, but another section of the hospital. Um, it's the UC Epilepsy Center. Um, March 9th, they're going to put him in the hospital and hook up, hook him up to all this stuff. And um, if he doesn't have a seizure, I think they're going to do something to induce a seizure because they need to get some good information to see what's happening because the two tests he's had so far haven't showed anything, but yet he's still having the seizures. Um, this new neurologist has even raised his medicine. Um, he was taking 150 milligrams of seizure medicine now, and that was like it at night. Now he, he's up to 200 milligrams where he takes a 100 milligram pill in the morning and a hundred milligram pill at night and it took weeks and weeks and weeks to build him up on this medicine you have to do it slow you have to do it a week at a time you can't do it fast it's very dangerous if you do um, they're also going to do another type of MRI this time he's going to be knocked out the other one he was medicated so he um, would be calm because we didn't know how he would act. Um, so they're totally going to knock him out so that he won't be moving or anything. So Will has these two tests coming up. So like I said, if you pray, please pray for Will and our family. Um, it's been very difficult to say the least. And um, it's very stressful and um, absolutely horrible. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I just wanted to share, like I said, we had a good, a good family day where we went to the Goodwill, Goodwill, then the thrift store, and then the Dollar Tree. So all of these... The Dollar Tree was a new location, like I said, that we'd never been to before. The Goodwill was a new location we'd never been to before. I was just searching for Goodwills near me. and then, But the thrift store, this was the second time we went to the thrift store. So thank you so much, everyone. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Oh, my gosh. The dogs are going to start going crazy. Bye, everyone. Oh. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest contacts. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.